Hey there, welcome back to the uh, Big Scamly Ski Vlog. Welcome back this week to our vlog. Super excited to have you join us. Fourth of July was amazing, but then all of a sudden we woke up on Friday morning and we're like, we have a three day weekend. What are we gonna do with it? And we, I had an idea and I said, Janice, what would you think about taking the kiddos and we go up to Mammoth, which is five hours north of here and go skiing. And everybody's like, the kids went wild. And I looked over at Janice and she's kind of like, okay, well, that'd be, oh, yeah, I could do that. And you know what, Janice has been, she's always on it. She's fully got a crazy load on her all, this, all the time, especially now that we're down here in LA and living in uh, unique circumstances, cooking with some really bizarre stuff. I mean, we just, she doesn't have a full kitchen. It dawned on me, she needs a goal three day. The definition is 24 hours where you're just completely unplugged. You have no responsibilities and you get to truly rejuvenate physically, mentally, and spiritually. And I said, you know, Janice, why don't you take a gold free day and I'll take the kiddos. We'll go north to Mammoth and get a couple days of So ski. when Chad told me I had a golden free day, I was so excited because we had just finished um, the 4th of July, we got home at 1130 at night and I was looking forward to just a day of rest and he wanted to pack up and go to Mammoth. Anyway, he booked me a room uh, two nights at Fashion Island Hotel down in Fashion Island near Newport Beach and it was amazing. The room was beautiful. I got there and I just went to the pool, sat in the sun, read a book, got myself a hamburger and then um, just read and rested and I thought of my sister. She lives in the area and I thought, hey, you come have a golden free day too. So she was on it. So she did her day on the other side of the hotel and we met together for lunch. Went to the spa and the steam room and after my facial, they came out and gave me frozen grapes. Never done that before, but that was fun. We went window shopping, went out to eat and then came back to the hotel room and we watched uh, the life of Princess Diana, which was fun. Went to Mariner's Church the next day, went shopping for Barrington's birthday, came home, filled the fridge with food and got the place ready for the kids when they got home, so wonderful time. I've got a wonderful husband who takes care of me. I feel very nourished and cherished and ready for this next busy season of going back yeah. to Ben. So we loaded up in the van, packed up our gear. The kids wanted to camp and it was a good thing because every room literally online I did check and every room in Mammoth was completely sold out. Campgrounds were completely booked out. So I went online and said, hey, I had heard our dear friends, the Epic Family Road Trip talk about boondocking and so you basically go out in the woods there's no uh campsite no services no water no sewer no of the no benefits of a campground just trees and wild forests and whatever on the way up it was really fun to mix up the trip and pull over to the side of the road and i recommend this on long road trips to just get out get outdoors white spot on the road do some push-ups jumping jacks some activities with the kids it literally took us a few minutes but it really mixed up the trip Campsite. All right, so guys, we're gonna do a little dinner. You ready? Big fans of Phage. This is not sponsored, by the way. Okay. Boo. Phage did not sponsor us <laughs> yet. Phage. To go with our uh, our yogis and our berries, we got what? Cheesecakes. What flavor is your fave? Gouda. 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 Who likes cracked peck bird olives? Okay, there you go. So we got some her <laughs> Okay, and then with that, we're throwing down the little mean string cheese. Cordy, show us how you wear string cheese. All right, there you go. Yes, it's almost like a uh, old-fashioned hairdo in curl it. I 
and um, it's the, <laughs> so the only thing I produce is bark. <laughs> Tastes like mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, Cordy, just run off over there in the woods. No, it's too scary. I'm not using the restroom. So here's the kiddos, the girls. They're in the. Uh, they're snug in the bug. They're as snug as a bug in the rug in the trailer. And uh, you girls ready to rack it? Yeah. yeah. All right, sure love you all. Good night. Ski day tomorrow, babies, huh? Yeah. 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 So I am. Yes. Okay. Good night. Good night, Daddy. Let your dreams take you where you want to go. Good morning, guys. It's so hard to believe we're pulling back up the road here into Mammoth. Mountain Woo! opens at 7:30. It's 7:05, and we're looking good, looking alive. You guys ready to do this? Yeah. Oh yeah! Yeah. Everybody got a little Woo! ski on. actually one way over there on the far side, but no one will be able to hear you scream. <laughs> the hospitality of that mountain, their leadership team, it was so fun to run into some of their, their staff there, talk to the patrol director in the gondola and all these different leaders of that mountain, but they throw an incredible summer season for people. You can see them patching together these strips of snow to get you from one place to the other, but the upper part of the mountain was unbelievable. It was gorgeous. There were bumps, slush bumps, all sorts of steeps open. Scotty's and Dave's and you know, the gondola, chair 23, wide open. <laughs> To our campsite it was really fun to get teams 
and everything we do, we try to make it fun and fast and efficient. And so we broke up into teams in the car and said, hey, you're gonna be in charge of setting up tents. You guys are gonna be in charge of getting out the food and setting up a kitchen. And you're gonna be in charge of cleaning out the van. And it, when we repacked, when we unloaded, when we get ready to go in the morning, there was always a teamwork thing where we divide and conquer. It really brings a sense of adventure to even the work involved in getting family stuff done because there's chores, there's, there's process. And some of you have commented about logistics and how do you do it with all this? Well, I'll tell you what, it takes teamwork to make the dream work and it really helps just having a little forethought and a little communication ahead of time saying, hey guys, you're gonna be assigned to this, you guys got that, you're gonna own this. And they take on their responsibility very seriously and they give it all they've got. And we had phenomenal meals, things got set up right away, things got clean and orderly, but allow us to operate as a team. And I just, I, I wanted to tell you that camping, people go, oh, how do you do all that? How do you do all that? Well, we can't do it alone. It's a team effort. And when everybody's engaged in the process, it really makes it a lot more fun and a lot more efficient. In the afternoon, we went up to uh, Lake, uh, Horseshoe Lake. In the Mammoth Lakes area, if you haven't been just a few miles out of Mammoth to the Mammoth, gorgeous waterfalls cascading from one lake to the other, gorgeous bridges. It was just so fun to explore. What's the name of the lake? Horseshoe, Horseshoe Lake. Horseshoe Lake, and uh, you guys just do a little polar dip? Yeah. And cool. how was it compared to Oregon water? <laughs> Not bad. Not it's bad? About the same. It's about okay, the same? Right? I mean, the snow is melting right into it. Yeah, so, so it's pretty, pretty brisk. Yeah, pretty it's a gorgeous uh, lake, and uh, but a good way to kind of knock the dust off you okay. from yep. camping. Daddy, I want to All right, so Kimmy's got a good, good makings of a fire, huh, Kimmy? <laughs> One of the things that I love when we get out camping is is in the morning you know we didn't rush Sunday morning we just took time and the children had time to get off in the woods by themselves and spend time in the word spend time praying have a time to replenish and rejuvenate spiritually and it's so important in a life of busy activity of coming and going it's so easy to not to stop and to realize that our soul needs care and not just my soul as a parent, as a dad, as a father, as a husband, not just Janice and her time away, but our children need that as well. And the opportunity to create space for them and to see them take a few moments and to be quiet and to journal 
and to pray and to think on things that will uh, are true and honest and lovely and that will be transformational for them spiritually is important. We get up there and we run into, of all people, Glenn Plague and his wife Kimberly. And they are the most hospitable, like big hearted people you'll ever meet. They are the perfect role model, I think, for our children when it comes to being ambassadors of skiing. These folks don't know a stranger. It doesn't matter who it is on the mountain. You, they just welcome you into their into their world. And it doesn't, like you said, if it's a person doing their first day of skiing, or somebody who's an expert, or anybody in between, they just say, "Come along with us," and uh, they invite you into their world. Ah. Rip it. Bunch of gray skiers. There was a bunch of guys from um, White Knuckle Mono Skis up there, and they were all skiing their mono skis. And these guys, they're not young bucks, but I'll tell you what, you wouldn't know it by the way they skied. They just tore the entire mountain up, and our kids and uh, and I had a phenomenal time being with them. Um, ended up running into our dear friends Thor and Janice, who had an art booth set up there at the uh, Mammoth Art Show, and uh, Thor threw in about a, a two, one and a half minute, two minute. Bible study out of 1 Corinthians for us right there on the spot. And uh, anyways, it was a phenomenal trip. Got back in the car Sunday night and headed back down and we're able to tie in with Jesus. Caroline Elizabeth, our 18 uh, year old, is going hiking uh, with her cousin, a bunch of friends, and uh, a dear friend of ours, Blanche Tadlock. They're gonna circumnavigate Mount Hood 40 miles and then do another 30 or 40 or 50, I don't know, miles, uh, 10 miles a day. I think it's a nine day trip. And just super excited for her. She's gonna have a great time up there. So, you had an awesome Gold Free Day. Yeah, amazing. It's the way it's supposed to be. And the kids and I had just a fantastic time this week. They did. Being together, we made memories we'll never uh, never forget. And uh, again, phenomenal week, and we are getting ready to head north. Yes. So, uh, can't wait to be back in Bend. Looking forward to a camp out that our family attends uh, every year, and it's a highlight. And we'll give you more of that next week. Thanks so much, have a great one.